When Janice Dickinson confessed that she had slept with over a thousand people in Hollywood, it sounded like she was exaggerating. However, the former model clarified that her claims were indeed accurate. According to her, she was the wildest model during the peak years of her career, and several famous people wanted to bet her. But Janice didn't merely stop at making the statement. She proceeded to divulge the names of both prominent men and women with whom she had been romantically involved. Janice's love life was truly a tumultuous roller coaster, and now you are about to discover its intriguing details. Back to the beginning. Janice is now known all over the world as one of America's first supermodels, but not many people know how she got there. This is how she went from being undesirable in her industry to becoming loved in the industry and desired by thousands of men. Before the world got to know about Janice Dickinson in the 70s, she was just a normal girl who was in love with modeling. Janice had always been undoubtedly beautiful, but her dark eyes and tanned skin were not exactly a perfect representation of the idealized all-American look at the time. As a result of this, Janice found it difficult to get work as several modeling agencies chose not to work with her. Despite the rejections, Janice was undeterred. She saw herself becoming a famous supermodel, and she was determined to turn her vision into a reality. Janice's resilience finally paid off when Wilmenia Cooper saw her potential and decided to be her agent. With Wilmenia's guidance, Janice rose to become one of the most successful models of her time, with her face plastered on several magazine covers. It wasn't long before fashion brands like Calvin Klein and Gianni Versace started working with her as well. Her fame truly birthed a lot of opportunities, but that was not all that her fame came with. Janice found herself in social circles with other rich and highly influential people just like her. The women admired her and most of the men wanted to be with her. This period marked the beginning of her string of romantic escapes and flings. With so many men at her disposal, Janice decided to pick one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors at the time, a brief 70s romance. Warren Beatty was the best. These were the words Janice used to describe her relationship with the talented actor Warren Beatty. The both of them got romantically involved with each other at a time when they were both well-known figures in their respective fields. At the time, Beatty was known for his reputation as a charismatic ladies' man, having been involved with several high-profile actresses and models. Dickinson, on the other hand, was a rising star in the modeling industry and caught Beatty's attention with her good looks and vivacious personality. Warren Beatty and Janice Dickinson's romantic relationship started in the late 1970s, and though it ended swiftly, they both attracted a lot of attention due to their shared fame. They were said to have intense chemistry as they made public appearances together in various events and parties. The media was most certainly following their every move and their fans were rooting for them. However, their relationship eventually came to an end, as is often the case with many celebrity romances. It was great while it lasted, but Janice was not done exploring. The Fling with Mike Jagger Over the years, Janice has not had good things to say about her romantic escapade with Mike Jagger. She even claims that he was the worst out of all her past romantic relationships. According to her, she didn't enjoy her time with the legendary Rolling Stones frontman. Back in the 70s and 80s, Jagger was known for his distinctive voice and electrifying stage presence. His energetic and flamboyant performances captivated women and men alike. From the look of things, it seemed like he was a great catch, and Janice probably thought so too. However, her feelings about him certainly changed after the fling, and it seems like she is still not happy with him. The ex-supermodel later got into a committed relationship, which morphed into something more serious. A broken engagement? It's weird because I saw my ex, Sylvester Stallone, the other day at a gas station and I just carried on driving, Janice said as she recounted her relationship with Stallone in an interview with Heat. It seemed like Janice had finally found forever love when she got into a relationship with Sylvester Stallone in the 1980s. At the time, Stallone was making waves as an action movie star, known for his roles in the Rocky and Rambo film series. Stallone's portrayal of the underdog boxer Rocky Balboa in the Rocky series, which began in 1976 and continued throughout the 1980s, earned him international recognition during that period. His career was certainly flourishing, but he wanted more. He wanted someone he would share his life with. 
It was then that he found himself falling for the beautiful, bold, and outspoken supermodel Janice. They eventually got into a relationship, the lovebirds were spotted together in public several times, and the media was filled with information about their love life. Things even got more exciting when the news about their engagement began to circulate. Their fans were beyond excited about their union, and it seemed like nothing could go wrong after that. Unfortunately, the excitement from the fans turned into sadness when they decided to break off their engagement and go their separate ways several months after. In a later interview with The Sun, she spoke about her past relationships with the actor. In her words, Sly was a great lover. But even after a failed engagement, Janice was not done enjoying her youth. Liam Neeson, A 90s Affair it came as a surprise to many when Janice claimed that she had a short-lived affair with the actor, Liam Neeson, in the 90s. During that period, Liam Neeson became known for his versatility as an actor, showcasing his talent in a range of film genres. He had gained popularity for his role in films like Schindler's List and Michael Collins. Interestingly, one of the reasons why Janice's claims were shocking was because the actor was actually married to the actress Natasha Richardson in the mid-90s. Perhaps, the brief fling with Janice happened a long time before he married Natasha. Women were not excluded. When Janice claimed she had slept with over 1,000 people, women were not excluded. According to her, several famous women wanted to be romantically involved with her during the peak years of her career as well. In one of her interviews, she even claimed that she slept with Grace Jones, who was a popular actress, model, and singer. Janice also claimed that when Grace was dating Dolph Lundgren, they all had a threesome. Although she didn't reveal the names of the other women she slept with, she made it clear that she slept with several of them. But Janice didn't only claim to have gotten involved with women, she also allegedly caught the attention of a prince, an alleged affair with royalty. In her autobiography, Janice Dickinson was hell-bent to make even more revelations about her life. She wrote about an affair she claimed to have had with Prince Albert II of Monaco, the reigning monarch of Monaco. However, the prince denied these allegations. After a rather eventful time in the spotlight, she decided to quit acting formally, went on to be a judge for America's top model, and even launched her own television series. The former supermodel is still focused on the things that interest her as she is still celebrated for her contribution to the fashion industry. This is what she has to say about celebrity life these days. I have to say, the celebrity thing doesn't rock me the way it used to. In my 20s, it was fun, but the excitement of celebrity wears out really fast. Janice Dickinson's love life was certainly scandalous at a point, but time has a way of making scandals fade away. Here are some of the biggest Hollywood scandals that the world has moved on from.